saving the best for last in the NFC North. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. So we'll start with the Chicago Bears. Well, Bears fans going into the season, what have they done? They thought they were going to be a playoff team. They had high expectations for this team. They've been one of the biggest disasters, a dumpster fire, an absolute abomination, loser, dumbass franchise getting raided by the federal government. So week one, uh, what they do, they got blown out by the Green Bay Packers, the only game that Jordan Love looked like a comparable NFL quarterback. And then week two mentioned it they lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield called three straight screen passes get absolutely annihilated after Justin Fields was talking about how he can't process information that he's receiving from his coaches and how it's too much for him to make think on the field basically so he's not a quarterback so that's pretty much a done deal for the Bears that he's a bust and then you you blow a 28 to seven lead versus the Denver Broncos at home when you actually had a chance to win a game. And Matt Eberflus makes one of the most moronic and stupid calls of his life when Justin Fields has been rolling. The only positive on this team is Cole Komet. Outside of that, I, I have to give him a T for terrible. Well, you and I both. <laughs> I'm going to go a whole different grade. Grade that we haven't yet seen on the show. I'm giving them a P for (laughs) pathetic. (laughs) You mentioned the games. You recap them well. But let me actually like add the context to this. (laughs) This team went out in the offseason. They traded for DJ Moore. They traded away their number one overall pick. They said, no, we're fine. We'll take a tackle because that's (laughs) what we need. That's the final piece there. They went out. They signed Terrell Edmonds and a few other guys to make the matters worse. And then week one, they got their chefs all puffed out. Oh, we own this division now, even though we were three and 14 last year. Let's go out against the Packers. And what do they do? They wet their pants. They tuck their tail behind their legs and they scurry off back home on their home field, getting torched by the Packers in Soldiers Field. And then they go against the Bucks. The Bucks torch them as well. The Chiefs embarrass them in front of Taylor Swift against the pop icon herself. Embarrassment of a game. Justin Fields says, I'm tired of losing. So he goes off and he takes a nap because he's fucking exhausted at this point. And then the Broncos game. They're up 28 to 7. They're about to win their first game since Elon bought Twitter in October of 2022. The only team in the four major sports who has not won a game since Twitter has been purchased. And they blow that as well. So in every way that a team can embarrass you and be the ultimate level of pathetic, it's the Bears. This team, I mean, this is what we thought the Cardinals were going to be. This is what we thought the Bucks were going to be. This is what we thought the Giants were, and they are. And then there's the Bears. The Bears, it's like every other team in the NFL, a giant pile of shit, and then there's the Bears. They get a P for pathetic. Yeah, so Bears are pathetic.